Uh, yeah. Who's tweeting for Lemmy? Let me tweet. Let me tweet. Let me tap. Therefore, you must tweet. That's what you're wearing for Um, so... We brought you prizes. I love free sh**. I love free sh**. Ooh. Is this a new mojo? No, I actually brought that one because it has my letter inside that they printed about Dave Grohl. Oh, no way. I know, right? Come on now. What's that fancy decoder ring you're wearing now? What's the deal? It's my whistle ring. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Can you prove it? Your whistle ring? Um, oh, yeah. Where's the rest of our... So, will you, wow. auto will you guys autograph this around, and then um, I've got my tattoo guy out, out in the venue, and he's going to tattoo it on, like, literally right While now. While you're here? Yes. Oh, look at Mama Gates. Baby little bottle. I know. I was just going to see if you guys wanted to do shots, because I always have mine in my pocket. We do do uh, shots, but we wow. usually wait. I wait. Until about an hour and four. This is wow. Rad. Why have we waited so long to come here? Did you see that rad lighter, though? I did. Is it well, the best good. ever? Wow. I'm a smoking there, but I'll look at it. Wow. You smoke nothing? See, now I should start smoking. See, isn't that rad? Holy moly, did you make that? My mom you did. You did? Are you kidding? Uh -uh. This whole town knows that I've been trying to meet you guys for 16 wow. years, and so the whole town's going bat. <sighs> a clean shirt for tomorrow, and I'm coming to Sasquatch, too. Rad. Mm-hmm. Are you going to come hang out? Well, I'm trying to, but they won't give me a goddamn press pass. Ask that guy right Gus, there. Gus, my boy. My boo. Okay. Oh, oh hammer down. Yes, Holy it. moly. What do I do with this? Good cop, bad cop. I don't know. Do you want to put it under my shirt? What's that? Good cop, bad cop. That's okay. I would eat my own shit if Gus told me to. No, uh, it's, trust me. Don't. Uh, so you know about some of his weird. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So oh, and I have, I have Foo Fighter shoes, too. Where'd you get those? I got them made by Converse. I don't know how to turn this on, you guys. It's on. Oh, it is? Are we set? You're good to go. So, um, since on? they're going to... Here it comes. Bam, Sam. I was just trying to hang out and have fun. Hello, but, hi, um, I'm Dave. Good. They're go making me interview. Those are Foo Fighter shoes? Well, they're I Heart Dave shoes. I Heart Dave. We can get everybody on there, for God's sakes. You so, too, huh? how about we interview you? Um, okay. Um, hey, everybody. I'm Dave from the Foo Fighters. What's up, Pat over here? Look at that. And there's Taylor. And this is Taylor, and he's got a fucking awesome boo-boo. He's got a big boo-boo on his finger. Yep. So, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the first time we've played here. Ever. Ever. In Montana. Why did we wait so long? Um, because we're a small market, and you thought we sucked, but really we rock. I don't really know if we ever thought you sucked, though. Really? I don't think so. I didn't even know bands went to Montana. I've never even heard of Montana. <laughs> Montana? <laughs> Doesn't someone from Pearl Jam live in Montana? I don't even know who that is. Oh. So, how, are you born and raised here? Yes. Really? And I did Portland radio um, because I was traveling around stalking you guys. Mm -hmm. And so I did radio in Spokane and then Portland. But we've never lived in Portland or Spokane. I know, but you guys play there all, all the That's time. That's true. Often. More so than, this will be More than here. Yeah, so this will be my eighth Foo show. So what, what, what other shows have you seen? Because they all pale in comparison to what we're doing now. Um, I saw three on Echo, Silence, Patience, and Grace. Mm -hmm. Sorry. But that was, the one, <laughs> that was the one where Pat came back. That was the best. Yeah. Good choice. And Rami was always there, and it was epic. Um, Rami was walking around town yesterday looking for people to get high with, and I think he found something <coughs> to get high with. Can you imagine <coughs> that in Missoula, Montana? Oh, is that what you do here? This, I don't. I do the Jaeger, but everybody else is really, really fucking high right now. Really? So if they don't clap, it's not because they don't like you. It's oh, because used to that. That's because they can't find their hands. They're just really fucking high. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, let me ask you something. Good, because I'm not good at interviews. <laughs> um, the garage tour. Yeah. What the fuck was up with that? Bring well, we yeah, made no the new record in my garage. And I thought that it would be fun to go out and play a bunch of shows in other people's garages. And wear a Christmas tree skirt. I did. That was in Texas. I shouldn't have put that on. It was really hot that day. It looked good, though. Remember that? It was just this... How do I not have noticed that? Because, I don't know. It he was, was wearing it like a cape. We did one in Dallas, and the girl's name was Dixie. Mm -hmm. Well, of course it was. And she cleaned out her garage, and she had her Christmas ornaments in this little box. 
So in the middle of a song, I went and grabbed them and put them on. Dixie. Dixie was her name. Goddamn Dixie. And then we swam in her pool afterwards. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I was really excited was about the whole the, thing. That was fun. Mm-hmm. It was on the net. Um, my very favorite one, though, is when you guys went to John's and it was raining and you had on a little blue hoodie and it was rad. And you did Everlong and it just made me. Mm-hmm. I think John, uh, was that in. Um, that was in Yonkers. Was that Yonkers? He had a cowboy hat. No. No? no. <coughs> John had a cowboy hat. <coughs> anyway, I absolutely loved that whole idea. It wasn't raining at John's. Loved, right? loved. No, it was raining in Chicago. Chicago. We played Chicago? Yeah, well, we played that pizza place, remember? Oh, right. Okay. That one was weird because it was like the real housewives of Chicago were the front row. Holy shit. Yeah, that's bizarre. You do that. A bunch of ladies going, Wee! <laughs> I'm so nice. doing that at 9 o'clock. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, I wanted to ask you guys, too, about your writer because in the past your writer has been you know, passed around because there's such insane shit on there. Guess who writes it? Gus. That guy right there. <laughs> I like the way you start to walk away. That's all. No. You in. What's the, what kind of weird shit's on this writer? You know what we put on the writer the, the other day? Four loco, bitch. Oh, my God. I just had some four loco. You know what? This is absolutely true f***ing story. My husband lives, or he's from Great Falls, which is just a shithole in the middle of Montana. And we went over to visit. And on the way home, I was broke because I'm saving all my money up for foo merch. And so we stopped at the store and I only had enough for either a four loco or a Foo Fighters magazine, which was on the shelf. And I bought the four loco and stole the magazine. There you go. Rad. I'm a problem Did solver. Did you drink the four loco before you stole the magazine? Was that what? No, I took him into my car and rode home drinking and Drive reading. Home drinking and reading. I wasn't driving. Good. Don't so drink and drive, kids. Are you near um, Shelby at all? Yeah, Shelby's somewhere. Is it near? I don't think so. Do you want to go? I'll give you a ride. <laughs> I have a foo jeep. Um, to say like foo on it? It's fucking food out. It's obnoxious. People hate me. Because you love us? They're just so sick of it. Wow. So is this, should this be the only show we play here ever? No. Okay, we should come back soon. After you get the crowd reaction that you're about to get, you're going to come back every year. But we, we don't feel like that year. about all these places we've been doing on this tour. Like, we should come back here. Yeah. Um, what about tomorrow night? Is tomorrow night set? How is that going to differ from tonight? The outside. Well, yeah. It's well, outdoors. there's that. Sure, sure. That's the obvious, really, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's shorter, obvious. too. Tonight? I figured it would be Short shorter tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow's two hours. Uh, a measly two hours. Uh, I'm so excited for Hey Johnny Park. Well, I guess we better do it now. Yeah. Do it, huh? Hey Johnny Park. Back on the list, guys. My fave. Put it on. Yeah, any requests? What should we do? That's the one. That's the one I need. Got it. Easy. Done. Thank you. The one that you need. I appreciate it. Um, well, I don't want to keep you guys. I know you have shit to do. We'd I don't have 400,000 questions. You know what I think I'm going to do? Nate, Nate! Mendel! Hey. Yeah, good thing you smoke. That's all I can say. I feel like I'm in someone's basement right Hi, now. Hi, Nate. I'm Angel. I do. Doesn't it feel like you're in someone's rec room? I was just telling these guys that um, yeah, like, we flipped the radio station to 96.3 The Foo. Yeah. And it's Foozula because we're in Missoula. And um, anyway, so we were 96.3 The Foo, so we played f- everything. We even played Sunny Day Real Estate, and people were calling, holy shit, is that Sunny Day Real Estate? F- yeah. It's oh, fucking Nate. Weird. So, yeah, I know, right? You have a grab bag. Which is oh, yeah. for you. And how is Chris going to get his? Well, he's probably walking in. Thank else. you. He's on, he's on walkabout downtown. Oh, he likes the walkabout. Looking for weed. Organic food. In the little pouch. Uh, is he wearing a funny hat? Not yet. So, um. Is he? Well, he has, like, like. Our final task. A cute little corduroy jacket. Yeah, it's like a little yeah, like, mountaineer. Yeah. He's got a stick with it. He's got like a hobo stick with a little bandana at the end. Is it a shillelagh? Is that what it is? He's again. He's trying to help him, isn't he? Damn it. Do you know there's a show tonight? Yeah. Where's it over? Is that f***ing badass? Mom. What is that? Angel's mom. And this is the rad f***ing thing about my mom is like she put thought into it. Like she, you know, wouldn't, you know, she put Pat on the logo. She knew Pat was on the album. She coordinated. She just put some thought into this shit. God, so fucking rad. Do, has she ever made lighter covers for you? Angels. I Angel's don't need mom. one. I know. Is this a lighter cover? Angel's, Angel's mom. mom. Oh, mom. my God. That's so fucking cool. Isn't I thought it was, I thought it was a lighter that. How I do you not cuss when you're on the radio? Because you seem to 
freely cuss. Will it pick me up? <laughs> I don't know. As soon as I walk into that studio, I just stop. Put on a, put on, I don't know how you do it. I find that with my kids. Because I can, when I'm around the kids, yeah, I don't true. cuss at all. Yeah, I, don't I don't even have to think about it. No. Yeah, my daughter, Lily, has a foul mouth. Lily, she's named after enough space. No shit. And I tried to hold her in until your birthday, and she came out on the f***ing 12th. Lily. I know. She's naughty. You want to do a picture? I want to do a photo, and I want to get the... We're doing an autograph around the logo so I can get it. My tat guy is here. He's going to tattoo it on. Damn. And I would really appreciate that, so let's do it. And shots Where if you want. Make good choices. Um, okay, Photo. Do you guys want to move, or I can come to each of you? Let's go in the light. In the light. So, guys, when those folks get in, get to pick up their tickets and stuff, will they know to come here? Because you know they're just taking a nap. You, Does anybody you know want my like, autograph? What? What? Where's the taking that nap? No. Wow, what else is in here? Okay. Oh my God, I'm gonna fall asleep in two seconds when I hit that bunk. bunk. So, no white limo here in Missoula. Now, it did a cross-country trip, but I don't know if it came out this far. It's not pretty green. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like a hippie place we're at right now? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Very much. Oh, you mentioned the marijuana. Right? I yeah, think they guys. might be doing the weed. I really do. Wow. There's something else in here. I wouldn't imagine that. So will I see you guys tomorrow night? Can you go in the bar? Can you get mm -hmm. one with you two, please? Snuggling. Want to do snugs? Let's do snugs. Mm -hmm. Wow. I got a number for replacement parts. Or I have them. Um, Let's do prom photo, too. I've never been to prom. Show me how that me works. Me neither. I dropped out of high school. <laughs> I like that about you. Awesome. You are literally my hero. I, every day when I'm at work, I'm the operations manager. I have to be the leader. And every time I say, what the fuck would Dave do in this situation? Oh, jeez. What? Like, it's your job? Yes. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm not, I was never really good at jobs. Okay. Usually there's like, we know how it's good. Usually for you, we know how. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm napping. Well, usually I go off and walk away, and you guys have to find me for 10 minutes. Yeah. That always takes, is that why it always seems like there's like a 10 minute pause? Yeah. Like, that is so fucking hot. I appreciate it. Thank you. Very welcome. Favorite day. What about Chris going why? together? You know, Is she getting my name touched? Should we shot? Well, we just did that one. Yeah. It's going to be rad. <laughs> Are you going to be a baby? <laughs> what? Shot. No, I cannot do a shot right now. I will be a baby. But why don't you come back before we go on? Can you do that? Of course. Do you have passes yeah. and stuff? Yeah, that's where you are. Okay. Come back and do shots with us before we go on. Okay. Because that's usually what happens, like about half an hour, 40 minutes before. Mm -hmm. And can I say the prayer? Yeah, okay. You drink the prayer. Yeah. Okay, that's what I meant. Say, yeah. If I say, I meant oh, drink. Whoa. Thanks. You can drink the prayer. Drink the fucking prayer. And I'm so pissed because I forgot my poster to autograph. I'll bring it at the next one. We'll bring it at the next one. See you later, darling. Taylor, thank you. Thank you. It was funny out there, Mel. Chris and Dave, there you go. Hey, stand by. Okay, I'm going to see if driving my kids to school this morning. Yeah, I do. It would be the greatest moment. Oh, yeah, I'm not in. <laughs> I wasn't moving when I took the picture. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I wasn't. I was at a light. Just parked. Oh, yes, so sweet. Tomorrow, what do you have? So stoked that Violet made it yes, into the movie. Yes. So sweet. Yeah, it's everybody's favorite part, right? Yeah, you know, it's weird. Everybody. We went to a... Um, Screening in Austin. I got a guy tomorrow. Okay. And we weren't going to go, but there was like a whole thing on it. And we'd seen it. Yeah, yeah, we'd seen it. The guy who gave but just, I got my double neck guitar. Phone. And so we went to the screening. Oh, yeah. and, this premiere, mm -hmm. and we went up and made this <laughs> speech. <laughs> the first and then we were leaving. Tell him. And my wife was like, Dude, Are we going to stay? Yeah, I'm going to watch it. She's like, Come on, see it. So we sat and watched it with an audience. It was just so weird. Yeah. But that was the part of the movie where everyone laughed. Yeah, that was like the best part. It was like relief after you feel like you're invading. I felt like I was invading your space for two hours. Yeah, yeah, but I like it was an invasion, and then at the end it made you laugh, so it was nice. Okay, yes. This one's mine. Yes, I would love to. Thank you so much, you guys. Pat, just such a honor. We played the germs this morning. I'm Angel. Check the box office. Okay, thanks.